Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to do something called uh, the can opener, for lack of a better name. And to do that, we're going to need to go to Endless Highway and modify the map a little bit. So we're going to want to go ahead and open up the map editor with F11. The plan is to take a bunch of small cubes, put them at about the height of the roof of the vehicle, and then slam the vehicle into it and seeing what happens to the roof. So to get the cubes, we're going to go to Meshes. Levels, Grid Map, Art, Shapes, MISC, or Miscellaneous, and then we're going to choose GM Cube 1M for this. That is a good sized cube, if you ask me, for slamming the roof of vehicles into it. It's not quite as wide as a vehicle, but it's at least half the width, which I think will be the most fun. And then we're going to put the position as 0, negative 200, 2. And it's negative 200, then 2, not like one single number there you can see it on my screen you know what I'm talking about and you see it is a little bit higher than the truck actually was but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it gradually lower so the next one's gonna be 0 negative 2 10 1 1.9 and the next one will be 0 negative 2 20 and 1.8 so you can see for example it's getting lower and lower over time and I'm gonna make these Lower and lower until no car could possibly fit through it, but I won't make you watch that, so I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here while I set up these cubes. Okay, so one small change. The cube is now at a 3 for height instead of 2. Aside from that, the plan is still the same, where each cube is slightly lower than the one before it, and they get lower and lower and lower until no car can possibly fit below it at about this point. And then there's another 5 more or so, just in case. So there is really no chance for a car to actually get to this last cube, but it's there just in case something crazy happens. So let's go ahead and grab the truck and drive into some cubes. And one nice thing about Endless Highway is that this road is really easy to stay lined up with the cubes because all you have to do is stay in between these two lines and you'll be perfectly lined up with the cubes which will allow them to just tear your roof off. At least as close as you can do that uh, in BMG Drive. So it looks like we're gonna hit it right there! I didn't think it was going to hit that soon. I thought it was going to hit the next cube. But I guess it was closer than I expected. So we hit it right there and did a backflip. Can we stick the landing? Yes! And you look from above, the roof is virtually gone for actually covering where it should be. Now it's just stretched out glass covering up the driver's compartment. And the truck still drives! That's surprising. The truck still drives. I guess that means it just wants to do another run, so let's go ahead and do another run. I mean, as long as the truck drives, why not? It even drives relatively straight, that's impressive. I guess we are mostly just damaging the body panels and stuff, and the actual important parts are mostly untouched here. So here's another one, not in slow-mo this time, but wow, doing some crazy flips right there. And that does break the car. But not before it made the roof into a dunce cap. Basically, it looks like my truck is wearing a dunce cap. You big dummy, don't crash into cubes. Here's your dunce cap. And that is the end of the truck. So we can go ahead and switch the truck out for another vehicle and try that one out. I think we'll go ahead and stick to some stock vehicles for now. So let's use the Ibishu Covet. We'll get the race edition so it has a roll cage and see how that affects things and we'll put it in orange a little darker of an orange there we go that's perfect and we're off so this one should go farther along in the cubes before it hits them but as, as you saw the cubes get so low there's no chance of actually being able to go under all of them see we're actually getting along on these things probably gonna hit the one after this one I'm thinking Right there. Oh, just barely cleared it. Wow. The engine just flew out of the car. <laughs> the engine literally flew out of the car right there. That is impressive. Obviously, this is not going to drive anymore. But just taking a look at that. Ouch. I want to do that one again though, just to see if it'll do the exact same kind of crash, because that crash was just so impressive, with the body panels flying everywhere and the engine flying out the car and stuff. I, I, I just want to see if I could duplicate that, or if that's just one of those amazing one-time happening things. 
So here we go. We're going to hit it right here. I'm going to put 100 times slow-mo on this because I really want to see it if it works. It looks like it's going to do it. Body panels just flying everywhere. They get detached because there's just so much speed when we hit. It's about 100 miles per hour when we hit. And the engine's actually staying inside. Oh, nope, it fell out again. Oh, that one's even crazier now. It's... Okay. Well then. I don't even know what to say about that. That is just a beautiful crash. Let's try to get the car sitting normally. That looks insane. What is the engine doing? The engine's dancing. I have a dancing engine. I have no idea why it's dancing. There's not even any music. It'd be funny if it danced more when you revved it up because it vibrated it more or something. How is it even still <laughs> accelerating? Like, I'm like, vroom, 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 vroom. The engine's just bouncing around outside the car. I don't know how that works. Alright, so let's go ahead and reset this thing. And just because I'm curious, I don't know if I'll be able to actually control it to hit the cubes, but I want to try to get the cubes rear-ended with this car because it's front-wheel drive which means we could probably really ruin the rear end and still drive it if I can keep it straight and I gotta focus real hard right here it's only gonna go 40 miles per hour unfortunately which isn't that fast oh and it did break the car how unfortunate Still looks cool though for a crash. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to another car. Let's use the... How about Grand Marshal? And of course, as usual, we're getting the police edition just because I like having the words police on the side. Let's get it in red police car. Red police cars are a cool idea. Like, they just look cool. Anyhow, let's go. Again, just staying in line nice and easy. And this one is another car that sits pretty low, so we can go through a lot of cubes before we actually hit one. I'm not exactly straight on at this. This is not ideal. Hopefully it'll straighten out before it's too late. Straightened up and hits the cube perfectly. Hitting it at the last second I straightened out. At least the engine stayed in the car this time. Car is doing a... It is standing up on its rear bumper. Is it just me or did the underside of the car get slightly longer? I don't know, it just seems like it's a little bit longer when it's standing up. Could be it was actually stretched or could be an illusion. We can go ahead and take the car off and just look at what it did to it. Just absolutely destroying the roof. It does not drive anymore. All the doors have fallen off as well, which is a sad sight to see. Look at the seats too! The seats are just being outstretched and exploded. The engine isn't dancing though. He's perfectly in place. Alright, let's go ahead and try out another car. Let's go with... I'm going to go through all the stock cars and then I'll go on to some modded ones. We're going to try the Bolide, which is going to be going really fast. Assuming I can keep it straight because the car is so low to the ground. It'll go through most of the cubes before it actually hits one. And since it's just naturally fast, it'll be moving by the time it does get to a cube it hits. So I'm going to actually hit slow-mo right here just so I can kind of keep this thing in, as in line as I can with the cubes because if I try to do this in real time I'd probably mess it up. So right there that looks pretty close to being straight on. There's a hit and we are doing another backflip. I like how I just tore those louvers right off. Like you don't get louvers anymore. Still drives. Still drives. Which means it's up for another run. All right, here we go. Run number two. This is actually interesting because it's going to hit a lot sooner than it did last time because it's a lot taller with the giant dunce hat on it, too. Just like the uh, truck, it gets a dunce hat. I'm doing slow-mo right now so I can make sure this thing's lined up properly because I'm not exactly sure when it'll hit with that crazy little part sticking out. There it goes. Just yanked it and then flipped it really hard that's impressive the number of flips is doing see that looks like some futuristic car aside from the the hat at the top and uh 
I'm saying Dunn's hat, but you could also probably say something like, that looks like the KKK. That's not good. Maybe I should have been driving a white car. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh well, too late now. All right, slow it down. Just a four times speed until it looks like it's gonna hit. Cause the car still drives. Still drives, it gets to go another round. Just barely grabbed it. Go ahead and do full speed on this. You can see how far and high it flips the car into the air and... Oh, things are getting messy now. Now it's just kind of... A lot of overstretched polygons that are... Unidentifiable. Like what some of these things are. It's just a lot of stretched pieces. But... It is broken. Which means we're not going to get to make it any... Less identifiable. That's as bad as it's going to get. Go ahead and reset this and let's get a gravel cheese series now. Put it in, um, let's go purplish. Not quite purple, but purplish gravel cheese series. Wow, purplish actually looks pretty good. I figured it would look terrible, but that's a nice looking color. All right, so as long as we go into the first cube, I'm happy because that means it's hitting it right at the tip. So let's see, are we going to hit clear this cube? Yes, just barely. So it's a good thing I raised them. This one, oh, it took the horn off. Still drives. That one's denting me. That one's pulling off. That one just took the cab of the truck with it. And it also lifted up the rest of the truck so the whole engine slammed into that one. I don't think this truck's going to drive anymore. Nope, it can coast until it runs out of momentum. Wait, it does drive? What? Okay, I'm gonna have to mess with that later on. But first, I wanna take a look at everything else over here. So, the whole cab fell off. And you can see, actually, that the roof separated off right here. The whole A-pillar basically is gone on this thing. At least I think that's the front. Yeah, look at the door. The mirror's backwards, though. I don't know what's the front anymore. It is the front, right? Yeah. You would be sitting in it like this angle. Because there's the back window. And that just got obliterated. This part, on the other hand, it kind of held up. It just got shoved off to the side. So let's go ahead and reset this to over here. Oh, that was a hard drop. Still driving. So this thing is really low to the ground now. I think it might be interesting to see where it goes. You notice the engine is definitely broken. But the T-Series is not a finished vehicle, which means... You can drive with the engine totally disconnected from anything. As long as the wheels ha can touch the ground, you can drive it. However, it does not drive in a straight line when the engine is dragging along all crooked. And it drives silently, except for wind noise, which is weird. I'm going to actually throw on a little bit of slow-mo as I drive, just so I can keep this thing in line, because it is not an easy task to keep this thing going straight. At least at 50 miles per hour. Making sure we could do it maybe two times slower. And it's going all past all these cubes. Oh, oh. That cube bounced it into the air, and then the next one just grabbed it and squished it. So the fuel tank has now fallen off, but it still drives, kind of. I don't know if it'll actually drive. Drive, or it's just kind of. Yeah, that front, uh, right and front left tire are both kind of not playing well anymore. They are broken. That doesn't even look like a big rig anymore. It's just like a frame of a big rig. So let's go ahead and, uh, reset that. Why is it so high in the air? I don't know what I did to do that. And the next thing we'll use, which I think is going to be the last stock vehicle we'll use, is going to be the Gravel H series. I know I didn't use the Moonhawk. I just think it'll be too similar to the other one, so I'm skipping it. And instead, we're going to use the cargo box uplift van on this and the normal van version as well. Starting off, cargo box uplift. Away! I think I'm still at about 200 meters away. I didn't think about that. Looks like it. I mean, I'm getting up to about the right amount of speed, I would think, for this vehicle. Oh! That one doesn't get cleared, though, on the first one. It just tore off the whole 
roof of the van though. And then the next one beats it up some more. Still seems to drive. I made a bowl. I have made a bowl. So if you ever had the boulder and you're just like, I can't fit it into my gravel H series. Just do that to it. Now it could fit the ball. The giant, uh, I think it's called the DSC ball. But it could fit now. I don't know if it could fit before. It might have been able to, but now it could definitely fit. And I'm kind of dragging along the back end of the okay. I was going to say the back end of the truck because it's just... just I, I lost my train of thought right there. It grabbed me so hard, I lost my train of thought. This thing's basic, basically becoming a flatbed over time. That's what's happening to it. It's now ever so closer to being a flatbed. There's only two walls left until it becomes a flatbed. We've already lost three of them. I mean, I consider the one on the right already lost. And flatbed! It's as good as a flatbed. Unfortunately, this flatbed cannot get the wheels to the ground. It'll still drive somehow. For some miracle, it'll still drive. Even though it's all bent like that. You can see the tires will spin when I ch tell them to. But they can't touch the ground, so it's dead. Let's go ahead and respawn that. All in the air again, smashing into the ground. And now let's use some modded cars like the Datsun 720 King Cab with the Race Edition. Because the Race Edition has a turbo button. Which means we can go really fast. Let's not use white though because that's boring. Let's get a, uh, well not yellow, orange either because the cubes we're going to hit is orange. So green. Green will work. Right, so first we'll do a normal crash at normalish speeds. And then the next one will be at ludicrous speeds. Like, however fast I can get this thing going. And again, I'm going to do slow-mo really early to make sure I can keep this thing straight. Just because it is a truck going at high speeds. It's not exactly stable. Like, as stable as other cars, I should say. And you notice I was crooked right there. As expected. And that actually broke it, unfortunately. I guess that means we get to do the really, really fast crash right now then instead. So let's just turbo into it. Put a little bit of slow-mo on right now because I know it's going to crash really soon. It's not perfectly centered. But what do you expect when you're going 230 miles per hour? Actually, it's going to be pretty much perfectly centered on the hit, which is really convenient. And I have 100 times slow-mo on just because we're going so fast here. Just grabbing the roof, stretching it out. Oh, that is weird. It literally looked like it just skinned the car. Like it just took everything off of the frame. And now only the frame is left and the frame got stuck in the next cube. That doesn't even look like a car anymore. That kind of resembles the frame of a car. And something's weird. You see the engine is right here. But you don't hear anything. I'm revving it up. Look at the uh, tachometer. <laughs> but you don't hear anything. Normally when you rev up an engine you would still hear something. Not exactly sure why that's happening, but wow. I can't believe it just basically tore everything off of the frame of the vehicle. That's, that's crazy. All right, next modded vehicle, which uh, also has a turbo, but it's not as crazy of a turbo, is the MAZ. I don't know what this thing's going to do. I'm pretty sure it'll hit the very first cube, though. I'll tell you that much now, because it's tall. Oh, right under it, and the second one it hits, and it does not like that one bit. You ever see MAZ do a backflip? You have now. It stuck the landing even. Definitely not going to drive after that, that's for sure. It looks like a boat. It looks like a boat right here. I have made an MAZ boat. I mean, it doesn't have any wheels left to drive with, so obviously a boat is its only option left in life. Uh, that one just turned out really unusually. Very unusual. Not much else more to say than that. Next up, we'll use the steamroller. Be too slow. So how about the Chevy Nova has a turbo, doesn't it? I think it does. 427 torque thrust. Just because. Like, it doesn't really matter because it's just the wheels. But the torque thrust. Oh, all materials are missing. Oh, well. It's because I was using the Moonhawk in the earlier part of the video, but then I didn't actually use it. That's kind of hard to explain. I know I said I didn't use the Moonhawk, and I didn't on camera. I edited that part out. So, whatever. 
All that matters is this thing should be hitting something real soon. There's the hit. The no textures became yellow. All right, so again, it's kind of just tearing the frame out of the car. That time the frame still held on though. But the engine is just hanging there. Everything about this car has been ruined. It's one of the few times a classic muscle car would be written off. I mean, the driver would also be gone, but whoever would inherit the car would inherit a worthless piece of scrap. Alright, next up, how about the Subaru Impreza? And again, we're doing the modded cars at ludicrous speed because they have turbos. And they don't have to be at ludicrous speed, so let's like do this one at a normal speed. Because this one actually has a roof that can be like broken, I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly, which makes it more interesting to do at a normaler speed without the turbo. Next one's gonna grab it. Oh, I guess it wasn't this one that has a breakable roof. Can we free it with the turbo? Turbo! Nope, it's stuck. Go ahead and respawn it, and the drop is harsh. It still drives! So we can go for round two in the Impreza. That is one beat up looking car though. Even with the roll cages beat up, I'm impressed that it still drives. It's a real impressive feat whenever a car still drives after one hit. However, it does not drive very straight. As you see, I'm trying to line this thing up. I'm using slow-mo to line it up as quickly as possible. There we go. Lined it up right before the collision. Doing a double backflip right here, if not a triple, quadruple, I don't know. That was a lot of flips. It's upside down. It would still drive if it was right side up. So we gotta make it right side up is what the car is basically saying. Because it wants to drive, and who am I to say it can't drive anymore? Oh, it's really, it's struggling though. It's definitely struggling, but it can move, it can drive, it can crash. If it can drive, it can crash. You know, other people say if it can drive, it can drift. I'm, the, I'm just, if it can drive, it can crash. It's much easier. All right, so I'm trying just to get it under these and grabbed. It's a lot of flips this thing is doing. Upright? Upright! It's starting to look more and more like, uh, well, no, never mind. Let's just go and, uh, since it still runs, we'll do another run. I am very impressed with the durability of this thing. Let's make this next one a little harder. Speed it up a bit more. Not insane speeds, but it is going fast. So it's about 94, 92, and the wheels are going way faster now. Just flying through the air and trying to stick a landing here. Still drives. Sort of. I mean, that's not exactly driving. That's the wheel still will rotate. That's not going to go anywhere fast. So let's go ahead and reset it. And I have it all over here on the crazy area. Let's go ahead and reset it in the middle for my convenience. And this time we'll just power it. And that's what it looks like when you do it at full speed. That was brutal. I don't like the full speed because you don't get to see anything. It's just, pop, the car disappeared. At least at this speed. I like being able to see what happens here. Basically, the car just implodes on itself. It looks more like an implosion than an explosion to me, at least. It implodes towards the the cube. I don't know. All right, last car we'll do will be the Lancer Evolution. And we're just going to use the turbo for as long as we can with this one. I just got to try to keep the car straight. That's going to be the challenge. So I'm going to use slow-mo right here to try to get this thing to stay in the direction I want it to go. I'm turning to the right to try to straighten it out. That looks pretty straight right there. Just gotta hold it until it gets to the cubes. It's, it's going to the left. Turn right, turn right. And the car just obliterated. That was just 
absolutely obliteration on that car. I don't want to do it like that actually on the end. That's just too messy. Because I think this car actually has a breakable roof. Which you can't appreciate when the whole car just explodes. You can appreciate it if it's a crash that's at a lower speed though. I knew it was either the Impreza or the Lancer that had a breakable roof. Or maybe it was both of them. There. See, now you can see that the roof is broken-ish. I can't see nothing. Yeah, you can see the roof basically broke away. It didn't, like, get crunched up or anything. It actually broke away for the most part. Which is kind of neat about this car. It's really good for making a convertible. Like, do you like my convertible Lancer Evolution? I like it. Wait, what is that in the... Oh, never mind. So, uh, that'll do it. Till next time, this is my YBR. I'll see ya.